The Novartis-sponsored Ask to Escalate study is currently enrolling in the United States. Ask to Escalate is a phase two dose escalation trial of asiminib monotherapy for second and first line CML chronic phase. All patients will start treatment with asiminib, 80 milligram daily, and can dose escalate if not meeting response milestones. The primary endpoint is major molecular response at 12 months in second line patients. Ask to Escalate is now enrolling. Late-breaking abstract number five is a plenary abstract of the Adriatic trial. This is a trial in limited stage small cell lung cancer looking at drivalumab as consolidation treatment. The current standard of care in limited stage small cell lung cancer is to give concurrent platinum-based chemo with radiation as well as most commonly the addition of prophylactic cranial radiation. This is a somewhat complicated study design, and only part of it is being reported at this time. It's a three-arm study looking at everyone receiving the standard of care, the platinum-based chemo, radiation, uh, prophylactic cranial radiation, and then for consolidation after that, the experimental arms are drivalumab plus placebo versus drivalumab with tremolimumab, that's still blinded, that's not reported on, versus placebo plus placebo. So a three-arm trial um, looking at consolidation with immunotherapy. Uh, the immunotherapy is given every four weeks for four cycles. And it's followed by uh, either the volumab or placebo until progression or toxicity up to a full two years. So that's the study design. It has dual endpoints of overall survival and progression-free survival with the comparator being the drivalumab versus placebo. And the secondary endpoints look at that combination of drivalumab and tremolimumab versus placebo. We don't have that data yet. Uh, 730 patients are reported on uh, in this study between the two arms, and they did show a significant difference in the overall survival and progression-free survival, which are the primary endpoints. For drivalumab, median overall survival was 55.9 months, and for placebo, it was 33.4 months with the hazard ratio of 0.73. 24-month overall survival was 68% versus 55%, and 36-month uh, survival was 56% versus 47%. For progression-free survival, the other dual primary endpoint, it was uh, median progression-free survival was 16.6 months for Devalimab and 9.2 months for placebo, with similar differences seen out at 18 months, 24 months, and 36 months. Interestingly, grade three, four AEs were the same. Dervalimab did not increase the grade three, four AEs, 24% um, in both arms. Dervalimab did have a bit more AE treatment discontinuation, 16% versus about 11%. So few more patients in the Dervalimab arm did discontinue the treatment uh, due to AEs. Pneumonitis, any grade, was a common side effect, 38% in the Devalimab consolidation arm versus 30.2%. So my takeaways from the study are one, this is the first practice changing study for limited stage small cell lung cancer in decades. We have been giving the same therapy for this subset of, uh, of small cell lung cancer for decades. Devalimab is actually already approved in the extensive small cell lung cancer setting. So this complements that now that in limited stage, we also see a similar benefit. Small cell lung cancer represents about 15% of all lung cancers, but lung cancer is common, so this is still a large number of patients. And it's clear that the, this study will change practice in the treatment of limited stage small cell lung cancer.